The stars are out tonight in the City of Angels and making their debut, Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers, as they take on the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross and the sinister Joe Gacy in the middle of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic first round later tonight. And in your main event, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, the decorated tag team of the New Day, also compete in the Dusty Cup. But who will oppose them? We find out later in your main event live on Monday Night Raw. And what bigger way to kick things off live from Crypto Arena in Los Angeles than the best in the world! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 220 pounds, CM Eight nights ago at the Royal Rumble, the man who once held the WWE Championship for 434 days, returned successfully to the WWE. CM Punk had a hard fought battle against the A-list superstar, The Miz, but in the end, Punk was the better man. CM Punk picking up the victory eight nights ago in Las Vegas. But for the first time in 10 years, CM Punk is back live on Monday Night Raw as advertised right here in the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. And I'll tell you what, the stars are truly out with the best in the world, CM Punk, gearing up for his first match on the red brand in a decade. A week from Sunday, we'll be in Miami, Florida for the Elimination Chamber. The road to WrestleMania already has been hot and heavy and it continues live tonight on Monday Night Raw. CM Punk back in action. And he may have his hands full as he goes one-on-one -on -one with one of the up-and-comers of the red brand, Carmelo Hayes. Hayes took on the rated R superstar Edge two weeks ago on the day one edition of Raw. Fought tooth and nail to the very end. Edge picked up the victory. Melo, however, looking for that exclamation point, proving that he is the next breakout star here on the red brand. And his opponent, accompanied by Trick Williams from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes! And as we mentioned a week from Sunday, we will be in Miami, Florida for our second live premiere event of 2024, the Elimination Chamber. What a night it is going to be over the last eight days. It has already become a stacked event. Cannot wait to get to Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida, Sunday night, January the 28th. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 Elimination Chamber. That is then, this is now, and kicking things off here in Crypto.com Arena. Carmelo Hayes and the X Factor in Trick Williams making their way to the squared circle. And Trick Williams very well was involved heavily in that matchup with Carmelo and Edge just a few weeks ago. Edge was able to find a way to survive. Can CM Punk find the same result? What bigger way to kick things off tonight? CM Punk back in action on Monday Night Raw. Carmelo Hayes looking for that one solidifying breakout victory. There's a whole lot of action on hand tonight. Not one, but two. Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. First round matchups, the final first round matchups in the first round. Carmelo Hayes taking the fight to CM Punk. And you gotta wonder what's going through Punk's mind. He fought a veteran in the A-list superstar The Miz eight nights ago at the Royal Rumble. Tonight, he breaks a young. Possibly naive, Carmelo Hayes and CM Punk may just have a few tricks up his sleeve to outsmart Melo, as well as Trick Williams at ringside. Trick Williams, as we mentioned, heavily involved in interfering any chance he could in Melo's matchup with Edge two weeks ago. Carmelo Hayes, credit where credit's due, was able to survive an execution, a spear from the rated R superstar. Trick Williams, of course, trying to get involved, but even Edge was able to find a way to sneak away with the victory, the ultimate opportunist he is. Now CM Punk tries his crack at Carmelo Hayes tonight. 
And one thing that we have talked about, and CM Punk has stated himself in WWE.com interviews, Punk is back with a whole new leash on his career. Looking at all the new competition across Monday Night Raw, some first time ever battles, and some old ghosts that he's ready to face head on. CM Punk's got a long way to go here on Monday Night Raw to get back to the main event seed. And quite frankly, I don't think Punk would have it any other way. If it's starting at the bottom and working his way to the top, that is what the best in the world has done his whole career. And look at Trick Williams getting involved, just as we mentioned, Melo trying to come from behind and defeat CM Punk the way Edge defeated Melo two weeks ago on day one. CM Punk's got to keep eyes in the back of his head. With Trick at ringside, but Punk's got plenty of tools to keep down his opponent. Extremely hard fought matchup versus The Miz eight nights ago in T-Mobile Arena. In Las Vegas, Nevada. Got to give credit where credit's due. The A-list superstar hung into the very end, but it was the Anaconda device that awarded CM Punk the victory. Gotta wonder if a GTS or an Anaconda device is gonna what gets us this victory tonight, or will Carmelo Hayes have the alley-oop, possibly deliver the slam dunk, and keep down the best in the world? All remains to be seen what is gonna happen here on Raw. And we can tell you that still to come tonight, the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley in action for the first time since the Royal Rumble. Also, speaking of the A-list superstar, The Miz, he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with Sami Zayn. And Sami Zayn's been very vocal on social media throughout this week about wanting to earn an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. We'll discuss more about that later tonight here in Los Angeles, California. Carmelo Hayes with a springboard of his own moments ago. Dishing one right back to CM Punk. And now Melo trying to get the momentum on his side. Big time boot to the cranium. CM Punk rolling to the outside, trying to get his wits about him. And Carmelo Hayes got his eyes locked in the best in the world over the top rope, but he may have gotten overzealous. Crossbody does not find a delivery. Nobody home, CM Punk with the sidestep, and that is the veteran experience of CM Punk coming into play against a young, possibly naive, former NXT champion. CM Punk with a couple of haymakers, a back fist on the outside. Carmelo Hayes down and out. And as we mentioned, Melo's just looking for that one big breakout victory that takes him to the next step on Monday Night Raw. Many have pointed to his series of matches with the almighty Bobby Lashley back in the fall. And yes, that certainly took Melo to the next level here on Raw. But in order to gain those championship opportunities, those main events that Melo oh so importantly desires, he's got to get through some heavy hitters here on the red brand. CM Punk could certainly be one of them. There's a count of nine that time. Melo making his way back inside the squared circle, but falls into the waiting arms of the best in the world. CM Punk's got so many combination of strikes to knock you down on that canvas, just as we witnessed moments ago. Oh, look at this. Trick Williams on the apron where he's not supposed to be, and hopefully the referee this time around is going to intervene a little bit more than he did when Melo took on the Rated R Superstar a few weeks back. Melo in control thanks to the assist. And now heading to the top rope. Carmelo Hayes not afraid to take things to the air as we have seen a, a couple of times throughout this matchup already. And the crossbody takes down Punk into the cover. CM Punk still alive. CM Punk looking for a second victory since his WWE return. Carmelo Hayes looking to take his superstar status to the next level. Especially on the road to WrestleMania. Tonight is a night for Carmelo Hayes to see his name in the lights here in the City of Angels and possibly move one step closer to being on the marquee at the show of shows. CM Punk may have his bell rung off those couple strikes by Melo. Says it on the trunks, Melo don't miss, but Melo missed that time, and that's a boot scrape by CM Punk. But Trick Williams is not looking to allow Punk to get back into this matchup. No sustained momentum for CM Punk as Melo comes from behind. And Melo with a pump kick. Carmelo Hayes may have this matchup in the bag. CM Punk at a very physical. Almost 20 minute matchup with The Miz eight nights ago. That has still gotta be weighing on CM Punk who has not been as active as some of these other WWE superstars. 
Carmelo Hayes scaling the ropes once again. Nobody home in the second crossbody attempt. Melo a little overzealous with the high risk maneuvers. And CM Punk obviously did his homework. The CM Punk better watch his back as Trick Williams taking Punk's eye off the ball. Melo with an overhand shot. Trying to unload. I don't know if it's wise to throw strikes with a striker in CM Punk, but Melo succeeded in that pursuit. Now a couple of disrespectful scrapes to the face, just paintbrushing the best in the world. A great contest to kick things off tonight live on Monday Night Raw with so much action to come here in Los Angeles, California on the road to the Elimination Chamber a week from Sunday. Nice counter by CM Punk getting Mello off his tail. Wait a minute, Punk! Fireman's carry position! Go to sleep! Oh, come on now! Trick Williams on the apron again taking Punk's eye off the ball. At some point, the referee's got to start stepping in. There's a, rep a repeated pattern going on here, and it's Trick Williams sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. CM Punk not able to take advantage of the GTS, so he's going to go for the Anaconda Vice instead. This is what awarded a victory eight nights ago at the Royal Rumble. Mello's in trouble. GTS followed by the Anaconda. And Mello's got no choice but to tap out. CM Punk picking up yet another victory upon his return to World Wrestling Entertainment. Here is your winner, CM Punk. Carmelo Hayes giving CM Punk a fight, and Trick Williams tried to stick his hands where it didn't belong numerous times from bell to bell. But CM Punk is back, and he's better than ever. First, the Miz at the Royal Rumble. Now, Carmelo Hayes tonight on Raw. As CM Punk's road to WrestleMania begins to play out, what path will CM Punk go down? Where will the best in the world find himself this coming March on the grandest stage of them all? The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. We are back inside Crypto.com Arena. It is time for the Dusty Classic to continue live here on Raw. It's scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. Well, let's take a look at the bracket thus far. We saw two first round matches seven nights ago here on Raw. The Street Profits taking down the Brawling Brutes in an exhilarating contest, moving on to the semifinals. Pretty deadly. Also outlasting those Carolina boys in Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes. Two spots in the semis already filled. Two more to go here tonight on Raw. And the sinister Joe Gacy, alongside the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, have had their hands in a lot of cookie jars as of late on Monday Night Raw. Issues with Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, issues that are not settled, but now they find themselves in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, opposing them, the debuting Bru Brutus and Julius of the Creed Brothers. Well, Joe Gacy's set for action, and here comes his tag team partner, not just tonight, but this alliance that has seemingly been formed week in and week out here on Raw, common enemies, breeding friendship, it's certainly not a friendship that goes well for anybody in the Monday Night Raw locker room. Well, Karrion Cross was certainly a busy man here on Monday Night Raw seven nights ago. As we said, his issues 
But the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, far, far from over. Kevin Owens taking down Joe Gacy in a rematch last week on Raw. Big time victory for the prize fighter. Unfortunately, no celebration was to be had as Karrion Cross ambushing Kevin Owens. And as you can see, instituting a beatdown that Owens will not soon forget. Karrion Cross introducing that table, and there's not anything that anybody could do about it. Kevin Owens was down and out after a brutal fight with Joe Gacy, and the Harbinger of Doom certainly picked his spot. Right through the table went Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, of course, fought through the pain, let adrenaline fueled him, and laid out Seth Rollins at the bottom of last week's Monday Night Raw to proclaim he was coming for the WWE title at WrestleMania. But there is a roadblock in Kevin Owens' way, and his name is Karrion Cross. I'll tell you what, there is unsettled business between those two men, and especially after the Annie was up last week, and the blood is on Karrion Cross's hands. What is going through the mind of the 2024 Royal Rumble match winner in Kevin Owens? All remains to be seen. Karrion Cross is a devious man with a plan. With that wicked witch Scarlet right next to him, and Joe Gacy in his mind as well. I got a feeling there's a lot of doom and certainly a lot of gloom on the horizon for Kevin Owens and company. And hopefully it won't be the same for the debuting Creed brothers tonight as they look to outlast this sinister duo and have a successful Raw debut. And accompanied by Ivy Knight at a combined weight of 515 pounds, Julius Creed and Brutus Creed. Brutus Creed and Julius Creed, a long time, alongside, I should say, Ivy Nile, the Creed brothers making their official Monday Night Raw debut. This is the 2024 Dusty Classic, but the last time this tournament took place in NXT, two years ago, 2022, who were the winners of that tournament? Well, you're looking at them, the men in the blue and gray, Brutus and Julius. The Creed brothers have won this very tournament before, now on the main roster, and the competition higher than ever. Will they be able to succeed, not just tonight in their Raw debut, but on the road to Elimination Chamber? First round matchup. The winners of this contest will meet the winners, or I should say will meet the Street Profits next week, after the Street Profits took down the Brawling Brutes last week here on Raw. And here we see some of that double team action that has made these, those Creed brothers so successful inside the NXT ring over the last few years. Former NXT Tag Team Champions as well, and these two men, to put it simply, are freak athletes. Obviously the accolades that we mentioned, and look at the strength and the agility that is already on display. No mortal man is normally taking Joe Gacy for a ride like that. The Brutus, the big man of the Creed brothers in there right now, throwing some haymakers with Joe Gacy, and I don't think Gacy knows what hit him. I'll tell you what, these two men have a bright future here on Monday Night Raw. So much talent in their bones, but not if they make rookie mistakes like that. Joe Gacy making them pay, thrust kick right to the jaw. And Gacy dropping the leg. And I'll tell you what, there's gonna be a fire under both of these teams tonight. The Creed brothers making their Raw debut, but Joe Gacy and Karrion Cross, although they've been causing destruction left and right on Raw when it comes to the win-loss column, they have not found themselves victorious in matches that I'm sure they would have liked to as of late. Two weeks ago, they teamed up alongside the street champ Sol Sokoa in a losing effort to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Bobby Lashley in the six-man tag team matchup. Karrion Cross coming up short as well as Joe Gacy in the Royal Rumble match eight nights ago. And as we talked about last week, it had to be even more of a thorn in his side, thanks to the fact that Kevin Owens was the one who outlasted 29 others to win the Rumble. And of course, Joe Gacy falling to Kevin Owens last week here on Raw. Those two men better have the fire underneath of them tonight, because if not, these Creed brothers just may run over them. Great double team offense so far by these two young, hungry superstars. Look at the strength. Carrying Cross up and down on the floor of Crypto.com Arena, thanks to Julius Creed. And Cross just trying to get out of harm's way, take out the exposed knee, trying to create some distance. 
These Creed brothers all kinds of fired up. Another interesting thing to talk about here is usually Karrion Cross always has that one up on his opponent, the Wicked Witch, Scarlet in his corner. But tonight the, the odds are even, I should say. Ivy Nile in the corner, also alongside her boys in the Creed Brothers. Karrion Cross is instituting a beatdown on that agile Julius Creed. As we mentioned, these two men, former NXT Tag Team Champions, and two years ago, the last time the Dusty Cup took place in NXT, they were the winners. Last year was the first time this tournament took place on the main roster. This year, it takes place not only on Raw, but on Friday Night SmackDown. Doomsday Saito by Cross. And Brutus saving the day. Close call there. Cross and Joe Gacy one step closer to moving on to fight the Street Profits next week. Semi-finals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic live next week on Monday Night Raw. The finals take place a week from Sunday in Miami, Florida at the Elimination Chamber. Of course, the winners of the Raw Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic will move on to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania, to challenge the Judgment Day, Damian Priest and Finn Balor for the World Tag Team Championship. All remains to be seen. Plenty of teams still left in the running, but who will be the last duo standing? Joe Gacy tagged in. Julius Creed trying to get his way back into the matchup. Tag made of the big man and Brutus. Look at that. Great strength shown. Oh, coming off the line. There might have been a blitz there. Double team shoulder block. What power to take down the sinister Joe Gacy. I'll tell you what, we've talked about an extreme length over the last month and change since Gacy's Raw debut. There's just something loose in the mind, a couple of screws loose in the mind of Joe Gacy. The Creed brothers better meet Gacy on that level tonight. It looks like they're trying their best to do so. Oh, watch out! Big time, Urinagi! Cover by Gacy. But in enemy territory, Brutus, Creed, and Julius will stop at nothing to punch their ticket to the semis next week. Joe Gacy thought he had Julius. Might not have got the victory, but damage certainly done. And add a little bit more cream on that cake. That's a line. Joe Gacy in control in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And of course, still to come in your main event, the New Day will meet a mystery tag team. Who will, who will it be? We'll find out later tonight here on Raw in the final first round match in the Dusty Cup. Another tag to Brutus, and wait a minute here. Here he comes, Brutus Ball! Joe Gacy going for an amusement park ride. And wait a minute, Scarlet's up on the apron. Get that sick and, sick and twisted witch off the apron. Getting tongue tied over here. So much action in that wicked Scarlet trying to throw this matchup off the game. Oh, now come on. The Creed brothers almost had this thing moments ago off the Brutus Ball, but Scarlet carrying cross, sticking their nose in the business. And Joe Gacy go for a quick cover here. And a pump kick. Man, action nonstop. What a matchup we have between these four athletes live and in living color here in Los Angeles, California on Raw. This is what the action's all about. And Joe Gacy whipping the big man Brutus up and over the top rope. And I do not like this for that young superstar Getting dropped on the hardest part of the ring. No remorse shown by Joe Gacy. Well, look at Brutus. Trying to let adrenaline flow through him. Let the, the will of winning this tournament push him past the pain. And a huge suplex. Momentum starting to swing back and forth. Tip for tat. These two men go. Carrying Cross tagged in. And that might be ball game there. Well, the fun might be over for the Creed brothers. Carrying Cross not here to play games. Well, there's Brutus off the reversal. And the ropes cross goes, goes for the shoulder block, does not get all of it. The Harbinger of Doom still standing. Maybe not for long. And Cross goes behind. Counter takes out the knee. Man, this is a very physical tag team matchup. Great action nonetheless here on Raw. Double underhook. Nobody can gain the momentum for a sustained amount of time in this match. 
Creed Brothers got no other choice but to leave it all on the line. Opportunities do not come around every day. And in their Monday Night Raw debut, they find themselves with a chance to punch a ticket to WrestleMania over the next couple of weeks. And Julius in now. Taking out carrying cross, big time lariat. Man, look at the strength, the hook, the slam. These Olympic athletes, these amateur wrestlers back in the day, bringing a vast variety of talent to the WWE ring. Tag back to Brutus. These Creed brothers got something stewing in their mind. Sending Karrion Cross up and over. Nice backdrop that time. Oh, wait a minute. A lot of action to keep up with there. I believe Joe Gacy is tagged in. Oh no, Juli Julius Cree is no longer the legal man. Went for the pinfall. It's Brutus in there now. Scarlett trying to get involved. Tags were made. Brutus and Joe Gacy are two legal competitors in this tag team match. Brutus has got Gacy down, but he better take advantage. Into the corner he goes. What have the Creed brothers got left in the tank? Have they already shown their best cards in this match? That is the question that we need answers to. I'll tell you what, they have been in this situation before. Maybe not under the lights of Los Angeles, California on Monday Night Raw. But two years ago, they outlasted many other teams in the NXT. Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. They won the whole thing. Former NXT Tag Team Champions. They got the will to succeed, but do they have enough in the tank to take down some of the best that Raw has to offer? Brutus and Julius back inside. I should say Brutus and Joe Gacy back inside the squared circle. My goodness! That's alignment. The Los Angeles Rams need to give him a call. That was a shoulder block that just sent Joe Gacy to the 50-yard line. Out of bounds, really, we should say. All right, enough with the football puns. Brutus, Brutus, Joe Gacy are two legal men. Carrying Cross is all kinds of dazed and confused after Brutus took it for a ride moments ago. Tag made back to Julius Creed. Here we go for another ride. Gacy and Cross getting thrown from pillar to post. Oh, what has Julius got in mind? Oh my, oh my goodness! Shooting star press to no avail. I just got shades of Brock Lesnar. Joe Gacy with a urinagi, and that may do it. No, not yet. Man, what a match here on Monday Night Raw in the middle of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. This is what the competition and the will to succeed have your name etched in stone in the Dusty Cup and go on to fight the champions at WrestleMania. That is what it means to these four superstars. Brutus tagged in. Reverse fireman's carry position. Sending Gacy for a ride once more. Onto the canvas, spine first. A cover. That'll do it. That will do it. The Creed brothers advance in their Monday Night Raw debut. What a contest here in Los Angeles, California. And I'll tell you what, Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy, I don't know what they fell into, but it's a lot of bad luck as of late. The issues continue for those two men, the Creed's on the up and up here on Raw. Here are your winners, Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers. Well, these two men could be looking to become the only two-time Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners. They move on to next week. They move on to the semifinals. Brutus and Julius Creed will meet the Street Profits seven nights from tonight as the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic continues.
The road to WrestleMania continues a week from Sunday in Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida for the 2024 Elimination Chamber. And what a night it is going to be in South Beach. As we found out last week, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman is back and he is heading for the WWE Championship. Braun takes on the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins a week from Sunday with the gold on the line. And Friday night SmackDown's main event could not get any bigger. The ring general, Gunther, defends the World Heavyweight Championship in a first time ever collision against the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. And the winner of that contest will go on to WrestleMania to fight the winner of this Elimination Chamber match. Ricochet, Braun Breaker, Austin Theory, Randy Orton, Cody Rhodes, and Drew McIntyre compete inside the confines of Satan's prison. And that is not the only Elimination Chamber match on hand as three women from Raw and three from SmackDown compete for an opportunity at their brand's women's championship at WrestleMania. Who will be the last man standing and punch their ticket to the show of shows? We find out who is gonna be the last person standing inside the Elimination Chamber a week from Sunday. We are back inside Crypto.com Arena and Gigi Dolan set to go one-on-one. -on -one with the nightmare herself the wwe women's champion the eradicator of the judgment wait a minute is that who i think it is behind is that dominic mysterio the hell is he doing out here and accompanied by dominic mysterio representing the judgment day from adelaide australia the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Well, uh, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to sidetrack from Rhea Ripley, but Dominic Mysterio making his way out here in Judgment Day colors? It was last week on Raw, we talked about a, a very cryptic, I'll bite tweet from Dominic Mysterio talking about it was time the WWE Universe recognized he's a generational talent and it's time to find a new way on Monday Night Raw and everything Dominic said, but I didn't know he was alluding to the Judgment Day, if that's what we are truly witnessing right here. Rhea Ripley making her way out here, the WWE Women's Champion, and Dominic Mysterio alongside, I don't get it. I don't understand. I really don't get that decision from Dominic. Of course, he was split away from his father, Ray, in a trade a couple of months ago. Is here on Raw. I'll bite by his lonesome, but I mean, he's a grown ass man. I don't know why he needs to associate with such a, a sinister and sometimes disturbing group in Rhea and Finn and Damien, but I, I, I don't know what to say. Nonetheless, we're gonna have to get a word with Dominic and Rhea, and we also have another situation to talk about with Rhea Ripley. Well, we'll get to all that. Let's just focus on the action right here. Gigi Dolan, one-on-one -on -one with Rhea Ripley here in Crypto.com Arena. We are live from Monday Night Raw, Los Angeles, California. Just less than two weeks away from the Elimination Chamber. And let's just talk about some of the other news at hand. Rhea Ripley, before this whole Dominic situation, though, we still need to find more news about, to say the least. Rhea Ripley stating that she is issuing an open challenge. This is news coming from WWE.com earlier today. Rhea Ripley has issued an open challenge for the WWE Women's Championship coming up a week from Sunday in Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. This is hot off the heels of Rhea Ripley's downright dominating and decisive victory over Liv Morgan at the Royal Rumble to retain her WWE Women's Championship. Rhea's looking for competition here on Raw. Gigi Dolan trying to give it her best right now against the Nightmare. A win, loser, draw tonight. Rhea will take that gold into Miami, Florida. She's heading to South Beach with an open challenge in mind. Who is going to oppose Rhea Ripley? Rhea hopes to find an answer on the road to the Elimination Chamber. Nonetheless, let's just try to focus on the action at hand. As Rhea plants Gigi off the mat. Rhea Ripley is as dominating and as intimidating as ever. If you did not see the matchup between herself and Liv Morgan, eight nights ago in Las Vegas at the Rumble. I will definitely recommend going out of your way to see that replay. Rhea was an absolute dominating victory, decisive in every sense of the word, 
over the former number one contender. Liv Morgan could barely get out of the gate in that matchup every time she tried to mount a momentum. Rhea Ripley was right there to cut her off. We've unfortunately not gotten any word from Liv Morgan how she's feeling after that matchup. We do know that Rhea Ripley is sitting on top of the throne of the women's division, issuing an open challenge for Elimination Chamber, and I guess has gotten in the ear of Dominic Mysterio, who is at ringside with Rhea. I, I still don't understand that whole thing. Hopefully, again, we can learn more about it in the coming weeks here on Raw, but nonetheless, Gigi Dolan's trying to hang in there with Rhea Ripley, and Gigi is not somebody who we've seen too much of here on Raw. Spent some time down in NXT as well. Bit of a floater here in the WWE. But Gigi Dolan getting the opportunity to take on the woman who has sat atop the Monday Night Raw throne since September 2023. Women's Superstar of the Year, Rhea Ripley. Look at Rhea, just ragdolling her opponent. No mercy being shown by the Eradicator. And now tying up Gigi Dolan. Look at this hammerlock submission hold. Gigi is all kinds of tied up. I don't know if she's got enough room to reach out and grab the ropes, but I don't think it's gonna matter. The pain is too much. Another victim eradicated by Rhea Ripley. Just as dominant as ever before. The WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley is out to make a statement and continue her dominance, not only on the road to Elimination Chamber a week from Sunday, but on the road to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. I'm sure she hopes to walk in still your women's champion. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. A victory for Rhea Ripley tonight. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting some breaking news in the headset right now. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take it to, to the headlines on WWE.com. We got some breaking news regarding the Elimination Chamber a week from Sunday. Karrion Cross out of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic and officially signed on to meet the prize fighter Kevin Owens one-on-one -on -one Sunday night, January the 28th. And for what we understand, that's not just going to be any meeting. That table was in play last week. And at Elimination Chamber, it's going to be no disqualifications between the Harbinger of Doom and the Royal Rumble match winner. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents the Elimination Chamber. Well, we are in Hollywood tonight for Monday Night Raw, and the A-list superstar just couldn't help himself but making sure he was in the squared circle in the City of Angels. Well, Miz is gonna have his hands full, but the man who's been extremely hungry to get an opportunity at LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship over the last few months on Raw. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn. Sammy Zayn has been very vocal about earning an opportunity at LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship as of late. He took to Twitter earlier this week and had this to say, these last few months have been one thing, reshaping my road back to an Intercontinental title shot. LA Knight was the better man on Halloween night, but the next time our paths cross, I promise victory. Sami Zayn, of course, alluding to the matchup between him and LA Knight last October in Dublin, Ireland. An, extra an extraordinary matchup between those two men that could have gone either way, but in the end, LA Knight retained his Intercontinental title. And we have talked about to no end, Sami Zayn trying to earn another opportunity at that gold. Sami Zayn becoming very vocal about it as well. The only way to earn another matchup is to get the W's inside of the ring, and that is what Sami Zayn is hoping for tonight. 
Well, I'll tell you what, the Monday Night Raw action continues, and what a night it has been inside of that squared circle here at Crypto.com Arena. Already so far tonight, it has certainly been a noteworthy evening. The Creed Brothers defeating Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy in their Monday Night Raw debut to move on to the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic next week where they will meet the Street Profits. Of course, coming up in your main event, the New Day, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods still set to compete in that tournament. Who will they oppose? We'll find out up next. What about what happened moments ago? Rhea Ripley, another dominating victory. She has issued that open challenge for Elimination Chamber. Seemingly Dominic Mysterio has joined the ranks of the Judgment Day. I don't even know what to say there. CM Punk in action, in action at the top of the hour. Big time victory in his Monday Night Raw return against Carmelo Hayes. And now we find ourselves with Sami Zayn and The Miz locked inside the middle of the ring. We talked about earlier tonight, Sami Zayn alongside Kevin Owens. They have had their issues with Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy. Kevin Owens was able to defeat Joe Gacy last week, but at what cost? Karrion Cross put them through that table. And now we know that Cross is out of the Dusty Cup and he is on his way to Elimination Chamber to fight the prize fighter Kevin Owens one on one in a no disqualifications matchup. And Sami Zayn just trying to reshape his road to destiny, if you will. And hopefully, for his sake, earn an opportunity at the Intercontinental Championship. That is what he desires. I'll tell you what, The Miz has been trying to reclimb the ranks of Monday Night Raw as of late as well. Broke his 12-match losing streak back on Christmas Day against the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Has unfortunately come up short against CM Punk, was even involved in the Battle Royal last week. The determined Seth Rollins opponent at Elimination Chamber came up short as well. Now he's back inside the Raw ring, taking on Sami Zayn tonight. Maybe the result will be a different story for the A-list superstar here in his backyard of Hollywood. For this San Diego, I should say San Diego. That's where we'll be for Friday Night SmackDown. That's where we were for Friday Night SmackDown. Here in Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. Let's say it three times. Here in LA. They are certainly not endearing themselves to The Miz. That's how we do it, baby. One take. Sami Zayn sending The Miz into the corner. Live and in living color here on Monday Night Raw. Sami scaling the ropes after surviving those egg kicks moments ago. Nice Frankensteiner. Sami looking to get back into this matchup. Tell you what, this is a matchup between two hungry superstars here on Raw looking to build some momentum for themselves and gain championship contention in the near future. Win, lose, or draw, whoever comes out on the winning side is certainly going to have a stake to claim for a future championship opportunity. Zane looking good right now. Miz, all kinds of days. Blue Thunderbomb! Zane defeated the Miz a couple of months ago with that very maneuver. Unfortunately, the Miz able to get out of it this time around. Sami Zayn has had a couple of run-ins with the A-list superstar in the back half of last year, as well as Kevin Owens. The Miz was unsuccessful in all those outings in the midst of his losing streak. Nonetheless, running it back all these months later, Sami Zayn not able to put the Miz away with the move he did a few months ago, that being the Blue Thunder. But Sami Zayn foot on the gas pedal, trying to keep down the A-list superstar. A man who has held the Intercontinental Championship on numerous occasions throughout his career. That being The Miz. Sami Zayn's feeling good. Miz on the outside. He's got roller skates underneath of him. And Sami Zayn with a tope suicida through the ropes. Zayn is looking strong here on Raw. And now back inside the squared circle where Sami Zayn hopes for a victory. Will he get that victory he oh so desires? Or is The Miz going to find a way to get back into this matchup? Only time will tell. There's a reversal by the A-list superstar who's looking to come home to Hollywood tonight with a victory. Oh, man. That'll dislocate a kneecap. It'll put you on the shelf. That's what that kind of maneuver is. That's desperation out of The Miz if I say so myself. Miz not looking to fall back into another losing streak after he just cracked the last one on Christmas Day against the Celtic warrior Sheamus. A miscalculated maneuver by The Miz that time. Referee getting involved unintentionally. Sami Zayn finds himself in the driver's seat. Simply an effective snap suplex. 
The Miz all kinds of dazed and confused. Into the corner he goes. Sami Zayn full head of steam and a hell of a kick. The Miz may be seeing stars. And that'll do it. Sami Zayn picking up a victory live here on Monday Night Raw. Well, The Miz was hoping to come home to Los Angeles, California with victory in mind, not seeing another losing streak beginning to play out. Unfortunately for the A-list superstar, Sami Zayn's desire to earn an Intercontinental Championship match led him all the way to victory here in Crypto.com Arena. Hell of a match between Zayn and Miz, but Sami is your victor. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn. They may be playing the wrong track here in crypto, but nonetheless, Sami Zayn is the victor tonight. And I'm sure LA Knight has had his ear to the ground, knowing Sami Zayn is attempting to be on his tail. Will that victory lead Zayn to another Intercontinental Championship matchup? Or remains to be seen. On the final Monday Night Raw before the Elimination Chamber, the number one contender for the WWE title, Braun Strowman, is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Challenge thrown out by Lashley, and interesting enough, Strowman has accepted. Also coming your way next week on Raw is the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits meet the new Creed brothers, Brutus and Julius Creed, who were successful in their debut earlier tonight here in Los Angeles. All that is coming your way next week as well as another semi-final matchup of the Dusty Cup. Will it be the New Day or will it be their opposing team? Who moves on to fight pretty deadly seven nights from tonight on the road to the Elimination Chamber? The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. Well, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods were trying their hardest to climb the ranks of the tag team division for months here on Monday Night Raw. They finally earned an opportunity to challenge the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team titles eight nights ago at the Royal Rumble. And although it was a great contest all the way through, the New Day coming up short, the titles remaining with Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Now another opportunity emerges. Will Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods be able to make their way through three rounds of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and run it back with the Judgment Day this coming March at WrestleMania? World Tag Team titles will hang in the balance at Mania, but tonight it's just about advancing one step closer in the Dusty Cup. What? You gotta be kidding me! And their opponents at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay the Uso. Ladies and gentlemen, the Usos are here on Monday Night Raw. Jimmy on the left. Jay on the right, we have not seen the Usos since early 2022 when they lost their World Tag Team titles to RK Bro. The Usos are back. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on, they're handing me the notes right now. We got, we got a little word from the Usos before they made their way out to ringside tonight. The Uso says an opportunity has arose in the Dusty Classic, a tournament they have never won, a tournament they never competed in. And with a whole new tag team division at hand, the Usos are back to prove they are the best tag team of all time. Oh my goodness. Direct quote from the Usos before they walk through the curtain. And I can't believe I'm saying this. We are live on Monday Night Raw. And a classic rivalry is being renewed in the main event. The New Day, the Usos, in the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I'll tell you what, this is a Monday Night Raw moment right here. The Usos have been away for a long time here in the WWE, had accomplished everything there was to accomplish. Former eight-time World Tag Team Champions across Raw and SmackDown. 
But Jay taking things in the air, Uso style, in the early going. There is a lot of history between these two teams. A classic rivalry back in 2017 on SmackDown. They fought inside Hell in the Cell. Respect has been there for years between these two duos, but tonight it goes out the door as Kofi and Woods look to tap back into that mentality that they had during those war with the Usos, survive Jimmy and Jay, and make their way to the semifinals. The ante could not have been upped any bigger. And I'll tell you what, listen to that quote from the Usos moments ago. They said before they walked through the curtain that they wanted, that they were back to prove, excuse me, that they are one of the best tag teams of all time. And what is one thing we've talked about with the Judgment Day as of late? The two-time tag team champions, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year as voted by the fans. The Judgment Day say they are the greatest tag team in Monday Night Raw history. Well, I'll tell you, there's two teams inside the squared circle that would beg to differ right now. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. The excitement's getting the best of me as it is this sold-out Crypto.com Arena here in Los Angeles, California. Jey Uso taking down Kofi Kingston. We are live for Monday Night Raw. This is your main event. The winners of this match move on to fight Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly in the semifinals of the Dusty Cup, live next week. Jey Uso taking down Kofi Kingston right there, and you gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Kofi and Woods. After such a hard fought contest with the Judgment Day eight nights ago, coming up short. And now getting another opportunity tonight. So as we mentioned, try to make their way to WrestleMania throughout this tournament. But you gotta survive three rounds of the Dusty Cup, hold up the trophy, and then you'll get your opportunity. But now with the Usos opposing them, that task just got way easier said than done. Well, I'll tell you what, if anybody can take down the Usos, it's certainly Woods and Kofi Kingston who have had this war waged plenty of times before. Oh my goodness, nice drop kick there by Jay. Back and forth we go in this tag team affair. Xavier Woods set in enemy territory and Jay and Jimmy looking to bring Woods to the Uso Penitentiary. Nice tag team maneuver there. Jay and Jimmy made their WWE debut right here on Monday Night Raw in 2010. All the way up till 2022 early on, they held the Tag Team Championships for eight times. They lost the titles, realized that there was no competition left, that they had accomplished everything there was to do, and decided to take time away from World Wrestling Entertainment. But we did not think Jay and Jimmy would be back here tonight or possibly ever. But seemingly back with a new leash on their careers. New competition across Raw and SmackDown. A dusty tournament that they've never competed in and the opportunity to fight. Finn Balor and Damian Priest at WrestleMania hangs in the balance throughout each and every match in this tournament. Xavier Woods feeling the brunt of it. Rolling to the outside, but Jimmy Uso sitting there waiting in the winds inside the squared circle. And we want to thank you for joining us on what has been a great night of action here on Monday Night Raw. A night we won't soon forget on the road to WrestleMania. Samoa dropped by Jimmy. Xavier Woods getting the shoulder up. Woods and Kofi Kingston might be getting war flashbacks from all their fights with Usos all those years ago. As we mentioned, hell in the cell between those two teams at one time. Kofi Kingston getting tagged in. A much needed tag for the New Day. Jimmy Uso throwing some shots. Kofi with the day. Duck and dive and taking down Jimmy once more. Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods outside of that loss to the Judgment Day have been predominantly successful here on the Red Brand over the last couple of months. Can they get back on the right track here tonight in Los Angeles? Another tag made to Woods. The New Day starting to find their mojo here. Crushing Jimmy in the corner. Step up, nice move by Kofi. And some great power shown. Up, up, down, down goes Jimmy Uso. Courtesy of Xavier Woods. And Woods keeping his foot on the gas pedal. 
Woods could be looking to put the exclamation point on this match and move on to the semifinals. Here we go. Oh, what a lariat by Woods. Into the cover. Jimmy Uso's down and out, but Jimmy Uso's still alive. Oh, and Jay getting tangled up with Kofi Kingston in the middle of the ring. Respect goes out the window when the opportunity hangs in the balance. Well, Jay taking care of Kofi, Xavier Woods taking care of Jay Uso. Oh, but I watch his back. Jimmy from behind with the Savak kick. Into the ropes goes Woods. Making a dose on the Samoan drops. Jimmy Uso starting to roll. Oh, Woods is pretty far out. Here comes an Uso splash. We the ones, the Usos, are on their way to the semifinals. What a main event. What excitement that you won't find anywhere else but live here on Monday Night Raw. Jay and Jimmy are back in action and they're on their way to meet Pretty Deadly seven nights from tonight here on the Red Brand. Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. The Usos added to the bracket and there you see their name in the semifinals. Live next week here on Monday Night Raw, Jay and Jimmy, the Usos are back in action. And for the first time ever, they meet Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly in the semifinals of the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Also coming your way next week, the Street Profits tangle with the Creed Brothers. The almighty Bobby Lashley takes on the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. All that on the final Monday Night Raw before Elimination Chamber. But the story coming out of Los Angeles tonight is these two stars are back in the spotlight. Jimmy Uso, Jey Uso, the Uso Penitentiary is live on Raw. On when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.